Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the primary and secondary impacts of weather hazards. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. When weather hazards occur, they result in numerous primary and secondary impacts. Often students and teachers find it tricky to distinguish between the two, but it is important to be able to do so as they often come up in nine mark exam questions. Primary impacts are the direct impacts of a natural hazard, e.g. the effects of the strong winds, heavy rain or storm surges, and they happen during or immediately after the events. In tropical storms you have damage to and destruction of buildings. However, tropical storms often bring huge storm surges with them, so you have loss of life through drowning, which causes 90% of deaths in tropical storms. Power lines are often blown down and crops can be washed away. Many of you will have studied Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines as your tropical storm case study. Primary effects here included around 6,300 people killed, with most of these people drowning in the storm surge. 40,000 homes were damaged or flattened and 90% of Tacloban City was destroyed. Tacloban Airport Terminal was badly damaged and the typhoon destroyed 30,000 fishing boats. It also wiped out crops and brought power lines down. Secondary impacts are the indirect effects caused by the primary impacts. They occur after the main event in the coming hours, days and weeks. Many people get confused between the two. Tropical storms can lead to thousands of people losing their homes and becoming homeless, needing to be put up in temporary accommodation. A loss of crops or fishing boats could result in a loss of income and would hit food supplies. Shops could be shut due to the loss of power and schools might have to close, disrupting education. The secondary impacts of Typhoon Haiyan included millions of people being less left homeless and without a source of income. Flooding caused landslides and blocked roads, cutting off aid to remote communities, and power supplies in some areas were cut off for a month. Aid efforts were slowed down because of weeks of disruption to ferry services and airline flights. There were also shortages of water, food and shelter, which led to outbreaks of disease. Finally, many jobs were lost, hospitals were damaged, shops and schools were destroyed. These all affected people's livelihoods, as well as their access to health and their access to education. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the primary and secondary impacts of weather hazards. Thank you for watching.